Hi everyone, this is Katina from I Am The One Ministries and um, I am back with another word from the Lord um, about, um, let me see, a day and a half, no, not a day and a half, <laughs> just the other day, um, I left you all with a wonderful word from the Lord with respect to a coming resurrection and I believe our Father in Heaven has more to say on the subject because he has um, just impressed upon me just more information with respect to this subject matter. And I want to share with you all because I know he's raising me to teach. And this is not only, it, it's teaching me as well. So I know it will teach you too. Um, so I want to bring this to your attention and I want to um, invite the Holy Spirit into this space. And I just pray that he takes the lead. So Holy Spirit, I invite you into this space. And I just pray that you increase and I decrease, Lord God. I pray that the words that come off my tongue be fruitful for the listeners of this word. And I just pray that it's, be, it's more insightful um, for them as it is for me. Um, so that they could take this on with their journey into um, growing and and um, knowing you and just being you know who they are and who you created them to be um, as um, our spiritual beings first um, in conjunction with our first love and um, and then having our fleshly bodies to follow. Um, so Father God in heaven, I pray that you um, you come up on um on this altar right now i pray that you enter into this space let my the heavens above my head open by fire to receive more revelations with respect to this word and i just want you to con take take control over this whole um subject matter and situation and guide your people lead them as you will in jesus mighty and precious name i cover this prayer with the blood of jesus in the name of jesus amen amen and amen all right um so our father, um, I was, what was I doing? I, it was a couple of things. So why, let me see. So John, what happened when I was going over John? Um, something was going on with John. Oh, so John three, I don't know why. Well, I think I was going over or doing something in John three with, um, with my husband. I was doing something in John three with my husband and um i was doing something in john 3 with my husband and yeah we were going we were having bible study so i was having bible study with my husband and we were going over john 3 i think it was with my husband i don't well no it was with my husband you guys but um it could have been also with my son but just right then and there i have revelation um, so let me see. And then I had a class and then I saw another highlight again, um, with respect to Genesis. So I'm going to go over with regard to, um, a coming resurrection and just to briefly go over, um, the day before yesterday's word that I left, you know, I was explaining that I was um, doing some um, cleaning and I had the Clark sisters playing and, you know, I was, I was getting busy. And, you know, right when that, that, that highlight of that part was coming up in and I had, you know, was hitting that, that note with tears running down my eyes. And, you know, I once was blind, you know, I'm, you know, but now I see and the Lord just impressed upon my spirit yeah, you do see, daughter. Basically, it's just like you, you, you spiritually sing. You know, you're 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 spiritually awakened. Um, you know, it's you're not depending on your natural, um, your fleshly self to see. You actually, you know, you 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 have the best of both worlds. You can see not only in the spiritual to know what's going on around you, um, and and not in the heavenly places, but also in the earthly places. So, um yeah he just really impressed upon me and just opened like me up to you know have that song that that though right at that point in that song um though that particular uh lyrics that point means so much more and to where again you know i i you know i pray prayer points open my spirit eyes but 
you you take so much for granted what that actually means to be to have your spiritual eyes opened and with having your spiritual eyes opened you you're spiritually awakened you're spiritually alive you you have been revived you know the revival you're connected the resurrection you know have basically what i was saying in the last message so with that being said at, it's obvious that he you know our father just wants us to know more um about this subject matter and with respect to this subject because he's he's again opening me up to more information and, and and you know there's this there's a story that he's trying to tell with this so you know just to go over before just just to say how we're spiritually dead we're not connected it's just our flesh it's it's our souls that um is 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 you know it's a traitor against our spirits it's it's pretty much um our souls with respect to um our you know um feelings and things like that that has thank you holy spirit that has our flesh um you know under its subjection and you know um and and controlling everything and that's what's leading things right now and our spirits are just just inside dormant um, it's, it's under a low pilot light, basically. It's, it's not on fire. Like we can, you know, you know, impress upon the Holy Ghost fire to come up on us. We don't have that fire. Our flame is really low. It's just a pilot light that's lit inside and we, we have to get it resurrected. We have to get it back. We have to, you know, there has to be a revival. Hence why Jesus came here. We have to be connected. If we saw, you know, how Jesus walked, if we were here, you know, we understand and know and reconnect and, and get relational with Jesus, you know, that's the relation that we could have to a man, you know, as close as to God, we can get to have a relationship with him through a man. And then just to see how he walked, see how he lived. That's basically, you know, was, you know, it was a visual learning basically because he was right there in the flesh it was it was something that we could uh, uh, adapt to basically it, it's something that you know we could relate to so because god is a spiritual entity and you know like any of these other evil spirits they're you know unseen and why you know um we must not you know depend on our sight because of the unseen things because of which our spirits are dead and they otherwise wouldn't be able to be picked up by the natural eyes oh holy spirit have your way have your way your natural eyes and that's why our spirits need to be awakened our spirits need to be revived and resuscitated and raised back up in christ jesus and you know for him to do that you know, for us, Jesus is just giving us another chance. So, you know, just with just touching on um, what I said, you know, the other other day, this is um, this is just um, something he wanted me to just go back in with with John. Um, so um, John three, I'm going to go within there's sections. Let me see. John three, four, five, six and twelve. Um, so I'm just going to go John three, where, um, Jesus and, um, Nicodemus met and, um, I don't know where they met, how they met, but they met in the night. So Jesus, um, I'm just going to go to, um, John three, where Jesus answered, um, Nicodemus, um, with respect to God being with him. Um, Jesus answered said, and said to him, um, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Um, Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born, uh, um, born when he is old? Can he enter a second time in his mother's um, womb and be born? Um, so in, in John 3, um, in John 3, um, when Jesus says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Uh, we, we just looking at what that we just, what does that mean? So I went back to John, um, I, I, not on my own, the Holy Spirit led me there basically, or just even some book details, some of the, the details in the Bible, like references. John 1 13 says, we were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh 
nor of the will of man, but of God. So being born again, God is referring to our spirits. So when Jesus says a man cannot, you know, see the kingdom of God unless he's born again, he's talking about the spirit of which where um, God is in heaven. And I was, I said this in the last one, in the last uh, video to where I said, you know, it, it's our natural, it's our first love. It's our first identity. It's, you know, it's our first, our spiritual birth. Um, not your flesh. And I, and I said, I repeat, not your flesh. Um, because, uh, I, did I say this before? He, he, our flesh can't go to heaven, only our spirit. So, He's getting us connected spiritually with him to be able to handle, not to be able to handle. Well, some people will be raptured up just as they are, you know? So, but whatever the case may be, I just know I just got to get this, this part of the word out. Um, so again, Jesus is saying, you know, one cannot see the kingdom of God unless he's, you know, except he be born again. And what exactly born again mean, you know, um, and in John 1 13, it says who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So it's not of the flesh. It's not of um, two people wanting to sit up here and have a kid by their own will. It's not of that or anything, but of God. It's, it's the, the first creation. It's the first innermost parts of man. It's, it's the the spirit for lack of a better words um it's our spirit so and you know hence um nicodemus's carnal thinking um even back then which was you know it it was crazy because it's sad because that's how far look how far apart far removed we were already of of our spirits or from god because even he said then thinking carnally um you know can man you know be born you know again go back into his mother's womb and be born again and you know of course what you got jesus you know um pretty much um saying um i guess don't marvel at that you know um don't, you know, verily, verily, you know, don't marvel at that, you know, um, just pretty much understand and know that except a man be born of water and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So Jesus now states the requirements of being born again, which is of water and of spirit. Um, so here he makes a distinction, um, between, you know, um, what the requirements is, um, what the requirements are. And I was explaining, did I explain that in that one is saying as far as this must have been something else? Well, being a water, how John prepared um um his ministry with the water baptisms, water baptism was to prepare him for the Jesus for Jesus' coming. And you know, Jesus then in turn, you know, his ministry was pretty much the preparing for the spirits coming. Um, and we, we pretty much have to be prepared and raised up in Christ. Hence why we must be revived, resuscitated. I explained the resuscitation, you know, bringing, you know, one back to life and, you know, resurrected and our spirits resurrected in our bodies to full control, taking over the soulish things of our minds and, and getting the flesh out of the way. And, you know, we must be raised up in Christ. We must be raised up in Christ daily. We have to die daily. Um, in order for us to, you know, maintain that control and, and, and stand against the wiles of the devil. We, we have to know that he's out here daily to still kill and destroy. And we must be a step ahead of him every time, all the time, so that we, we, we won't get caught up in his tactics. Um, so I've read, um, let me see, John 3. Five. So six, um, Jesus saying that which is born of flesh is flesh. So he makes the distinction that, you know, flesh is of the flesh, but the spirit, which is of the heart is of the spirit is which is born is which is born of spirit is spirit. 
Um, so he's making the, the distinction um, for Nicodemus just to say that, okay, um, there are, you, you, you're made of a couple of parts here. Um, this is your flesh and this is your flesh and this, and you know, your spirit and, you know, just, he doesn't make mention of the soul, but, uh, but of course, you know, obviously man, <clears throat> man is more, um, influenced through, um, um, through the soul, um, it's flesh, our flesh is, um, more influence, um, through our soul, um, and, and which is the, the feelings and, and, and stuff like that. So, um, which we, we have to know and get, you know, get away from, and that's, that's not the primary part that we should be focused on here. Um, and you know, there's, there goes on to be more of the conversation to where Nicodemus and, um, Jesus have, um, with, um, Nicodemus thought process and how he thinks and there's more attention to detail on earthly thinking and um the the the, the fleshly and soulish things of this world um beyond you know just just they, they can't even grasp how to think in the spirit and and, and again because we're so far removed so in um in John 3, 12, he says, if I told you earthly things and ye not, um, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And I understand the point here because there's times to where we get to the point to where, and, and, and this is why John the Baptist was sent because God had to send him as a witness. He had to be like the prerequisite of Jesus to say like, because be, people will believe what they see. They believe in the flesh. So if God, if John pointed them out and said, this is what, you know, I, you know, this is he who sent me, you know, right away. He, he's a Jehovah, he's a witness of God. He's Jehovah's witness. And, um, we have to understand that it's, 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 it's crazy. You know, this is he who sent me. And you have to under, also understand that today that this is what's going on with us. We're witnesses for God because he's, he's sending us. We're a witness to him through, through, through prophecy, through everything that's going on. We are witnessing from the visions and the dreams that he's given to us because the fact that we're awakened and our spiritual eyes and ears and things are open for us. So it is, it's important for us to wake up others to come into their spiritual senses and awakening their, their spiritual awakening first so that they can grow those senses and, you know, be able to come, you know, stand against the wiles of the devil. So, you know, we got to the point to where, so seeing is believing. Um, we got, you know, what I'm trying to say is, is, um, it's, it's just funny that, you know, when he says that if I told you earthly things, you won't believe, but how will I tell you heavenly things? And that's, that's the thing. We're seeing so much of the earthly stuff. <laughs> We're seeing so much of the earthly stuff. If it got to the point to the people that's just really the, just like relying on the earthly stuff, they won't even believe the heavenly stuff, the heavenly realm, like the, the spiritual scene in the spirit is going to blow people's minds. Like you really won't believe it. So, um, seeing is believing, right? So that's, that's the thing. Um, especially in the naturally, like we physically have to see things in order to believe them. And, you know, yeah, we are truly um a people of seeing is believing and not believing is seeing. We went from we 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 are seers to believe and not believers to see. And and that's how most of us that are awakened we're believing to see because we already have the information. We are that's why you know like when prophecies and things come to pass and we just, you know, it's not like we sitting up here like oh we want things to happen. We we try to pray against these things, but if it's definitely something that's to come to pass or something to come, it's to come. And hence why we prepare prepare, hence why we, you know, we warn, hence why, you know, just so many things that, you know, 
we could either radically do or just whatever it is in 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 our walk and and you know in our obedience to God. So you then in turn or whoever have their chance to to awaken or to prepare or just whatever it is. So um you know it's 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 the scripture um it's 2 Corinthians 5, 7 that warns us, that says, walk by faith and not by sight. We have to walk the, you know, walk by the faith of what we, <clears throat> what God impresses impresses on us um, is, is truth. What he impresses on us is, you know, for our well-being or a warning or good or just, just whatever it is. We, and, and then, you know, by sight for it to come to pass or just, just, just whatever it is. Um, so this is why, um, it says we, you know, we, we have to walk by, you know, faith first. This is our first love and, and not by, you know, the secondary, the love of our flesh. We are walking in the wrong course of life. We are walking by the wrong course of life. And, you know, that's why, you know, in the last video I said, you know, when, you know, when the Lord just impressed upon me, you know, go back to your first love, you know, like he, it was the scripture with regard to your, your, your first love. Um, what was it? Revelations. Nevertheless, I have this against you that you have left your first love. Yeah. Revelations two, four. Nevertheless, I have this against you that you have left your first love. It's him. It's him. It's him beloved. And we have to go back to our first love. And, and once we go to our first, go back to our first love, everything else will all fall into place. Everything else will fall into place. It'll, it'll be, oh man, it'd be, it'll flow like rivers of running water. Um, once you do, um, and again, not by, you know, we have to go by our first love, which is just going to the Lord, being, walking in, you know, in faith in our spiritual self and having those senses heightened and not by the love of our flesh, which will only end up, um, destroying us for, for a lack of knowledge. Um, it's, it, it, our flesh, our spirit is understanding. It's, it's a knowing and, and, and through God, um, of, of, of our creator, it's, 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 our form of, of life is, is our life source. And that's why he's saying, thank you, Holy Spirit. That's the reason why he's saying, you know, um, a resurrection is coming because he's going to revive. Like there's going to be this great revival, this great awakening. And, and because we're, there's so much spiritual death going on right here. And, you know, we won't realize, and just like how I said in the uh, the end of the other video, when um Sister Deb uh, Deborah from um Deborah of Midnight Cry was saying how how Father, ah, I'm, I'm getting so I'm I'm getting revved up again. Um, I'm revved up <laughs> when her father asked the Lord, you know, what is it like to die? When he said it's just like you know just waking up. So basically, there's just awakening, but so many people are going to you know they're. The, our spirits are so spiritually dead here and and it's it's our bodies and that's you know taking the control to sit up here thinking it needs to survive you need your spirit in order to survive the afterlife because once you realize um god forbid that you know your spirit is, you know your spirit is so dead and awakened or or not awakened so spiritually dead and then once you are awakened to the truth to know that by default you're going to go down and you're not going to go up. So we we have to wake up now here while we have the chance. Each day that we're given the chance to draw ourselves near and having that relationship with Christ Jesus. He is the truth, the way, and the life. He's the one that had to come down between the Father, the, 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 the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus, the Word, is the one that had to come down. God was with Moses. He walked with Moses first. Jesus walking, you know, the New Testament. And now the Holy Spirit's turn, he's here with us. So we have to understand that, you know, it was through Jesus, through the word. This was his part of his deity of which he had to carry out. It, it's just, just to draw us and, and bring us back to the Lord at the end of the day. This is, this is what 
This is God's way, his will, his way. And if we we have to see that through Christ Jesus, this is the way it has to be done. And this is what we have to believe by faith in order for us to just receive the, you know, the, the gift of eternal life in heaven, just to be, you know, resuscitated and brought back to um, what was lost and what was stolen from us. What was, you know, how, you know, we were killed, killed, killed. <laughs> And, and, you know, it's just, just continual, just death and destruction and deception and just being, you know, confused every day. And we got to realize that we, we got to get out of this cycle. We got to get out of this cycle. So our spirit is all understanding and our flesh is, uh, again, for, um, um, a lack of a better word, um, is, it's just dirt. It's just dirt. And, <laughs> um, and meaning, you know, I mean, it's good because it's, it's, it's good for nutrients and, 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 um, and pretty much that's about it. Not knowledge. Um, the knowledge is within our spirit and, you know, hence why, you know, we, it's important for us to eat well, but I'm, I won't touch on that, um, too much, but it was, it's just the point of just knowing that, um, what I just separating, like he said, flesh is flesh and spirit is spirit. Um, our spirit is understanding and our flesh is, is just, um, it's just nutrients. It's just, you know, um, I don't want to say dirt, but <laughs> if, I mean, I guess if you look at it, if, I mean, because God, everything God makes is good, but if you can at least see it as dirt, you can see besides nutrients, there's no other value when it comes to Hmm. The devil. There's no other value that the dirt will have. Yeah, because if you relying on the dirt to think that you going to be allowed in heaven. Look what we what look at what we're <laughs> look at what we're depending on i believe the lord is trying to look at what we're depending on yes he idol to get us into heaven or to think that we're going to heaven and it's not by our standards it's, it's by man's it's not by our understanding or our thinking it is it's god so we have to get right, you know, connected. We have to get right with God. We got to get connected back with God. So I'm going to go to Genesis three and, and how this came to light was I was in, um, listening to a video for, um, a mentorship class and Genesis, um, three, five says for God do know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil. I'm reading the King James version of Genesis um, chapter three, verse five, to where um, the serpent tricked, deceived um, and confused Eve because um, they were already living of spirit. They were already open the way they should be to, you know, understand and see. When he said, then your eyes shall be opened, it was the natural eyes. It's these eyes because through e these eyes, this is how we see, you know, good and evil. And, you know, when he said, ye shall be as gods, it's a lowercase g. We all like many gods sitting up here idolizing crazy things, ourselves, the wrong things, dumb things, um, a, a celebrity things, cultural things, um, Things that have become standards, fear, like everything we're sitting up here idolizing. It's just like we sat up here and became, um, yeah, many gods to just think like we we got all the answers and we know everything about, you know, what we feel based off of our flesh, the, the, the dirt that we relying on that, you know, God used miraculously and just wonderfully i'm no by no means the lord knows my heart um 
belittling um, anything that he does is just to show you that um, if we look at it from the terms of, you know, from a different perspective, like we'll see that, you know, this is how we've, you know, without um, activating or knowing the power of our spirit, this is what we're, we're again, what we're relying on um, to, to lead us um, further into temptation and not salvation, which is crazy. So this is... Uh, just a word on that and just wanting you to just see what the Lord has opened my eyes up to first with respect to, you know, John three and, um, just saying how, um, you know, the spirit and being born again and what it takes to be born again and, you know, being, you know, in the spirit and, and, you know, baptize and, you know, what it's going to take in this season, in this hour. So if you've been awakened, just, and, and, um, just coming into your awakening, you, you have to make sure you eat Jesus, breathe Jesus, live Jesus, and, and, and just walk in Jesus because he is, he is the closest thing. That's all he was just saying. I am of my father. I don't do anything without him. It's just the same thing as what we, you know, who are called will do. We, we, we are walking in obedience to our father and we don't do, we definitely don't try to do anything without him. And then just to make sure everything that we do is pleasing to his sight. And just to know that, you know, we are doing, we're picking up our cross to make sure that we grab and, and, and come and, and bring others, you know, likewise, you know, joy will be in heaven over one sinner that repented and um, over 99 just persons, which is why, you know, I am the one ministries is, you know, just one person at a time, one person at a time to just do what we can in the time that we can, you know, through the power of, of the Lord and, and by faith. We have to act that faith, activate the faith and, and not do all this stuff by, you know, just the sight. Our eyes were open once that fruit, our, our, the fleshly eyes were open once that, you know, the sin occurred, um, during the eating of that forbidden fruit. And that's the problem. You know, there's a lot of eating and certain things. That's a part of some of the reason there's, there's so much, um, you know, death and destruction going on here too, by the things that we, we eat. And we just taking ourselves down by it. You know, there's so many things we've not only become gods, but make other things gods, you know, meaning God, we become gods by, you know, thinking that we're, we're making choices and we know all and, and, you know, we just totally just, just denied the, our true and living God, the end all be all of any of us. And I don't understand what, how do we come to, to justify or just to, just to know that we, we have the answers and we don't. So I'm, I'm praying that this word is, um, is just, um, something in extension of the, the first message, um, a resurrection is coming because it is coming and just, I believe the Lord just wanted to identify the things that must take place. You know, your faith in Christ Jesus, you believe in what he did for you and believe in, in Christ Jesus, receiving his gift of salvation and accepting him as Lord and Savior over your life. And as once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior over your life, you have to now deny this world um not you know that all of this is going to flip you're no longer going to depend on the things of this world um you are no longer this world because if you're claiming and, and accepting that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you no longer rely, you're no longer in oppression or a slave to these things of this world. It no longer has a hold on you. And that's why it's important for you to live and and um die daily, um, every day and stay on top of the um the devil and his tactics and, and just making sure you are rejoicing and reviving 
having every day um, in fellowship with the Lord, just so that, you know, you can have that coverage and that protection and that knowing that, you know, Jesus is Lord. Because every, at the, at the end of the day, every tongue shall confess, every knee will bow that Jesus is Lord. And um, I just wanted to make sure that you you know that through the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I don't know if there's anything else that you have. Um, have your way. Have your way. Um, if there's anything else. Um, Chenny Kane City on Tuso. Um, I think that pretty much is it, but yeah, it was just making sure that there was an understanding of what it must take for, in order for us to, um, have eternal life in heaven. Your eternal self has to be awakened. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your eternal self has to be awakened and born again. Um, if it remains dead, it's only going to die away with this earth. And and again, like how um, Sister um, Deborah of Midnight Cry, when she said her father inquired about what it's like to die, and he said, um, it's like waking up. Once you wake up, once your fleshly body dies and then your soul what then wakes up and you wake up to the the, the real eternal reality that um sorry I, I never knew you and then you know unless he has mercy on you you're going down instead of up so we are really trying to make sure there's so many others that the Lord has wakened up and called and have you know revived into a radical remnant and we are really you know, it's 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 going to be loud ones. It's going to be ones that's willing to do anything. Pretty much lay your, that their life down, um, for a friend. And and because we know where we're going already, and we know that you know our Father, God willing, you know that you know He says, "Well done, my good and faithful servant." Because it is it is more important for us to just make sure that we know that you know our assignment is to again um obtain um as many as sheep as possible for um for the kingdom and um that's pretty much it so um i pray that you know the extension of a resurrection is coming part one of the video um, I pray that this just gives you a little bit more insight and sheds more light on the fact that you must know God and his son, Jesus, um, and have that relationship because it is through Jesus that will help you to understand and know our father who is in heaven and then understand and know that your spirit man has to be revived. You have to kill that flesh because our spirit eyes, once sin occurred, our spirit eyes were um our spirit eyes were you know we were blinded <laughs> i once was blind but now i see i hit i, I hit that note hot and the, and the god just god just shocked me just like yeah you can see <laughs> I just, just <laughs> like i guess he's just like yeah you awaken and you know the more you do awaken to your spiritual self and your spiritual senses man oh man it'll it'll just bring so much light to what so many people are out here saying it'll it'll get you to see what's going on um in the the supernatural rather than the natural um and and knowing what the devil has been getting away with all along we have to stop allowing the devil to get away with so much so we have to wake up and and every day, you know, don't allow it. I, there was a post way back I created just saying, you know, what if you allow the devil to get away? What did you allow the Satan to get away with today? So we can't allow him to get away. We we every day, every second, every minute, every hour he's allowed, he's he's sitting up here. We allow him to still kill and destroy. It's not gonna happen anymore. So you can't on your watch allow the devil to still kill and destroy your dreams, your life, just whatever it is. Don't allow, don't allow it. And um, that's pretty much it out of out of that.
I believe. So unless the Lord comes back with some more insight, I believe that's it on this word. I want to say that I love you. I pray that this word um, is truly a blessing to you. And um, yeah, I just pray that you awaken in Jesus' mighty and precious name. I pray, amen, amen, and amen.